Well, how do that, chums? Does I, Captain of the Steves, and today, chums, my mic isn't in place. <laughs> it is now, so it should be good. Anyway, what are we talking about today, chums? We're talking about Monster Hunter Rise for the PlayStation 5. Yes, you heard me right. This is normally a Switch and PC title. Well, it was Switch to start out with, then it came over to PC fairly shortly after. I mean, I've enjoyed Monster Hunter World on the PlayStation 4, and also it got an uplift to PlayStation 5 Monster Hunter World. I did cover it on my channel. I've got a playlist. I put it in the top right-hand corner so you can see if I was any good. But yeah, it's coming to PlayStation 5, and it's coming to PlayStation 5 fairly soon. It's coming to PlayStation 5 on the 20th of January. But yeah, let me just uh, get rid of this visualization piece over at the side here. We keep a little Winamp open. But you can see here Monster Hunter Rise over on IGM was scored an 8 out of 10. On Steam, it's got a slightly higher rating of 9 out of 10. Now that's on PC, so that's pretty darn cool. I would have thought that the you know the Switch version would have got quite a nice rating. But uh, who knows? Anyway, I haven't looked into too much into the old freaking review, but to see that it's got 9s and 8s out of 10, I think it's going to be a pretty good game. Now, uh, you've got over here, you've got Is It Worth Playing? Monster Hunter Rise was one of the best games of 2021, taking almost all of the improvements from Capcom's made to its famously punishing action RPG series with Monster Hunter World and bringing them to an even bizarrer package on the Nintendo Switch. I said that's breezier, a breezier package. Hmm, I wonder what they mean by breezier. Maybe they sped up some of the grind? Who knows? Let's have a look at Monster Hunter Rise Really Grindy. On the series, Monster Hunter Rise is the least grindy Monster Hunter has ever been. You've got more drops, and crafting requires less. However, all the Monster Hunter games depend on grind, and it's an optional grind you willfully choose to do. You could just play through the story and be done in 50 hours. So it's got 50 hours of story as well. This is sounding better and better the more I freaking read, mate. This was freaking great. Is No Man's I Army, mean, is, is Monster Hunter Rise a Switch exclusive? Well, we know that it was originally, yes, but now it's come to PC and it's coming to PlayStation 5 on the 20th of January. And I've pre ordered it, so I'm definitely going to be doing it. It's definitely coming to my. Um, channel which um i can't wait to bring it to you to be honest people now i've looked up the large monster list because you, you just have to don't you have any sort of you know monster hunter-esque type game and yet all i'm seeing is little doodles i'm not actually seeing actual proper pictures of these creatures or anything like that i hate all these adverts aren't they a pain people i guess they are so there's all sorts going on here there's a lot of creatures i haven't heard of I mean, yes, the, the Raffians and stuff like that, and Raffalos, I have from Monster Hunter Worldy type places, but there's a lot here that I've never come across before, and I can't wait to see them in action. Now, what I did do is I just jumped over to uh, YouTube and I typed in top hardest monsters in the game, and I clicked on the shortest of videos, and I figured what I'd do is just give it a quick watch with you guys. We'll have a little bit of a reaction to this, I guess. So I'm going to need to put on my headset, or else I won't be able to hear them actually talking. So, oh, there's my headset. Oh, actually, no, I can't hear them talking, can I? No, because it's on, it's on that. No, I can't hear them talking. So I'm just going to have to take in the visual experience and give you my thoughts and feelings, people. So let's make this nice and big. Let's make sure I've definitely got it to the highest quality that I possibly can. Yes, there we go. I don't know whether this is PC. I think it might be, but then again, these controls down here, I don't know. I don't know whether seven appears on the Nintendo Switch, so yeah, you'll have to correct me if I'm wrong, but it doesn't say at the top either. But here we go. It looks like it's online anyhow. We're going to hit play, and we're going to watch this and see what we think of these hardest creatures. Hey guys, and welcome back to Monster Hunter Rise. Today, I want to tell you about my five hardest monsters, the top five hardest monsters in the game currently. Now, my fifth hardest monster to beat in the game, Monster Hunter Rise, is actually Magnamalo, the flagship monster for the game. He has always presented a massive challenge and he's always intimidating. I think I do still have like a lot of fears from him from the demo, like even though it was so long ago, Magnamalo has always required your full attention to basically kill this monster without actually, you know, fainting or getting too shot in, into death. But generally, he's not as hard as the other four at the top of the list and that's why he makes his place in number five. Right, well, that looked pretty darn freaking epic, didn't it? That one. That was like a giant thunder lion type looking thing. Heck yes. I did notice a fair few new moves that the character was pulling off. They had some sort of weird fishing line string thing going on. I'm not too sure about that. Anyway, let's hit play. 
Our fourth hottest monster is our boy T. Ostra, the fire wyvern dude who looks kind of like a lion mixed with a dr dragon kind of kind of thing. Looks pretty cool, very intimidating, lots of fire, burning explosions. This guy is one of the real deals in this game. I think he was the first real hard monster. Oh, this guy. This guy was in Monster Hunter World. Heck yes. Teostra, I think his name is. He's a freaking good bag. He's a giant fire lion. Yes, Teostra. There it is. It says there. Yeah, he was pretty darn freaking epically hard on um, Weld. But I wouldn't say he was super hard. He wasn't as hard as the one that sort of bagel goose or whatever it was. The one that flew over and dropped all the bombs on you. He was pretty darn difficult. And also the um, weird rotting dog one. He was quick as fudge that I ever had to fight in this game where it was actually kind of difficult to <laughs> to beat a quest with Teostra in it because he was just so difficult for a new player like myself to actually beat. And because of most of his capabilities where he can either one-shot or two-shot most players in like a few moves, that is why he's on this list in fourth place. In third place, I've placed everybody's favorite Elder Dragon, All Mother Narwa. This is... Oh, I thought he might have done one of those cutscenes, but it looks like it's moved on to something else now. It looks like there's two sort of creatures then. Wind Serpent Ibushi and Nawara the uh, All Mother. Nawara the All Mother. Right, well this is this is a strange looking beast. I hope this isn't what we're getting on PlayStation 5, because these graphics, they don't look all that impressive to me, people in the view of us. One of the first quests in the game that people have regularly been failing over and over and over and over again in multiplayer from what I've seen in comments that a lot of people are struggling with this quest because of what Narwa can do and how hard Narwa hits you. She's not joking around. She will land some heavy attacks and she has so many different types of attacks that makes her really hard to predict sometimes when she, you know, when, you know, when she turns around and does another move. You're like, well, what are we looking out for? Because it could be like one out of like, you know, 12 different moves that she might do and especially because holy fudge did you see his mouth inside a mouth that's freaking freaky freaking freaky because there is some of those moves there that will entirely wipe more than one member of your team if they make a very simple mistake of like not dodging correctly or getting hit by two attacks or two of the heavy ones at the same time which is literally enough to kill you and a lot of people have actually you know failed these quests in multiplayer because of reasons just like that the second hardest monster in the game, I believe, is Apex Zenogre, because this... Okay, and straight on to the next one, just says slay all monsters right now, so I don't know what this one's name is or what it freaking is. Looks like it's in some sort of body of water, though. Monster. With that powered-up form, it's a deadly, deadly monster. It's basically like Norwa's cousin, because it has the speed of Magnamalo, but has the lightning effects and devastation of Norwa. It feels like it is a mix between the two. I know... Looks a little bit like the first creature he was fighting. The one that he said was really difficult. One of the hardest creatures in the game. Hmm. Okay. Looks like the same creature. There's a weird comparison to make, but sometimes it really feels like that. And, and electricity or thunder is a hard element to fight against in this game, especially something that I've noticed. Especially with a monster like Zenogre, who is constantly moving, doing some crazy stuff. It's basically like the speed of Magnamolo does that giant lightning bolt, and if that hits you, that's often an insta-kill in the wrong situation. you got to be real careful because he can easily two-tap you with his speed, and he can kill you super easily if you make one simple mistake. Obviously, Obviously, this is the same with most of these high-end monsters, but he's definitely one that you should be looking out for, and I think he deserves his place here as the second hardest monster in Monster Hunter Rise currently. And drumroll, please! <laughs> Just kidding, we're skipping that every single time. The hardest monster in Monster Hunter Rise currently, in my opinion, as with all five of these... Crimson Glow Valastrax. That's a cool freaking name! monsters is Crimson Glow Valstrax. This is one of the coolest looking monsters. Also one of the most intimidating ones that I've ever had to fight. It is the only monster that I've actually had to die or fail six times before I was able to actually kill it. it literally, it's... there. There's no... Oh, nice. He's black and red as well. Kind of my logo colors. I have heard that inside of this one, you can actually ride and tame the creatures and then ride them into battle against other creatures. Apparently... Apparently, I, I, what I've read, don't know whether it's true, but um, I will be having that one, heck yes. 
other monster that I struggled this much with before, other than Velstrax himself, I had to go into single player to make sure that other people weren't messing up because every time this guy hits you, you feel it. And he almost kills you. I, he's, it reminds me of fighting Magnamalo in the demo where you had like hardly any health. Even here, I've got full health bar. But every time he hits me, if, if I do not heal up and go to max health, if he hits me again, it's over. I die. You can never let him hit you. I did see a little message pop up then. Did you guys see that? Did you guys see that? It said, Ride Waven. So I think that is true. I think that is is, is a true statement. If you have the slightest little bit of health missing, because he is guaranteed to kill you super, super easily. And because of that, he finds himself as the number one hardest monster in Monster Hunter Rise, currently where the game stands at 29th of May. I wonder if you guys have a similar list to me. Is it different? How would you put your top five hardest monsters in the game right now? How would you rank them? Do you disagree with me entirely? Do you have a completely different list? Let me know in the comments below and let's chat about it. Let's see. And also let me know what weapons you're playing. For me, this is all based as a sword and shield user. So it might be different for someone who might be like ranged, like a light bow gun user who gets to kill everything from very far away. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and thank you so much for watching. Right. Was that all five? Was that was that five? Oh, okay. Anyway, well, I guess one of five creatures that he finds the hardest might not always be the hardest. I mean, when you go through here, there's a whole list of other people doing the hardest monsters. And I, I think some of these differ to the ones that were actually in that video. So yeah, there's all sorts going on there. I do love rage gaming videos. Maybe I should have hit up one of them, but they're very excitable chappies. If you think I'm excitable, they're very excitable, but very good. I'm actually subscribed to these guys. If I hit them up, you'll probably see that I'm subscribed. Yeah, I'm subscribed and I've got the notification bell on. I really like their Elden Ring content and their Monster Hunter World content. They seem to like the games I like. They just don't play No Man's Sky. They play No Man's Sky, be one of my favorite channels ever. Well, it already is one of my favorite channels ever, but you can see I don't watch a lot of their videos. I watch some um, because, yeah, um, if, if, you, if I'd watched them, they've got red bars on. But then again, I have wiped my history. I tend to do that once every couple of months just to keep my machine running nice and smooth. Anyway, people, okay, let's go on over here. Let's go back to me. There we are. Yeah, Monster Hunter Rise. Very excited for Monster Hunter Rise. Like I say, it comes out on January the 20th, so not long to go. Pre-ordered, so I will be downloading it. I will be bringing it to my channel. I'm thinking of doing my first impressions. Um, I may even do the first impressions by drinking my cup of tea. Just give you the first, like, tutorial area of it or something, maybe, on one of these episodes. That could be quite nice, couldn't it? Watch me play that. And then um, I might do, I don't know, first impressions after playing for about four hours. And then maybe do a final review after I've actually clocked the game. I don't know whether I'm going to bring it into the channel in little mini sections of each different creature. I might do on some of the tougher beasts, do my little mini guides on how to take out certain beasts or get them how to break certain drops. But it's quite an old game now, so I'd imagine all that content's out there because it's been on Switch and PC for freaking ages. So there we go, people. Um, that's kind of like my thoughts and feelings on Monster Hunter Rise. Let us know in the comments if you've already played this on, on Nintendo Switch and on PC, and which creature you thought was the hardest. Give us the spelling of the name in there, that'd be really helpful, and I'd search for a video and do a little bit more homework before I get it. That'd be nice if you can give us a heads up. But there we go, people. That's everything I've got for you on Monster Hunter Rise. And um, yeah, take care for now. Goodbye, goodbye. And goodbye again.